Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today is all about arithmetic means. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So number one, find the arithmetic mean between 5 and 11. So the thing that we will do, we will write number 5 and we are looking for the middle number between 5 and 11. So we're looking for this number in between 5 and 11. So the thing that you will do class, if you have this given question, so the thing that you will do, simply add the numbers. 5 plus 11 and then you divide it by 2 since we're looking for the mean. Now once again, mean, it means the average. So the formula to get this number, that would be the second term, equals the first term. So we're looking for the second term. First term plus the general term, the last term, or let's just put it third term, divided by 2. So if the example is like this class, you're, you're just looking for the middle number between the two numbers. So just simply add. Okay, simply add the numbers. If you're looking for arithmetic mean between two numbers, simply add the numbers and then divide it by 2. Okay, so the first term is 5 plus 11 and then we divide it by 2. Okay, so 5 plus 11, this will be 5 plus 11, that would be 16 and then we divide it by 2. So therefore, the second term is 8. So therefore, this number here will be 8. So this is 8. Alright, so 5, 8, and 11. So if we check the common difference, so subtract the second term minus the first term. So 8 minus 5, the common difference is 3. So positive 3, 11 minus 8 is positive 3. So therefore, our answer is where 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11. So the arithmetic mean is, or the average between these two numbers, or the arithmetic mean between, between these two numbers is just simply 8. So once again, if you have this question, simply add the numbers. And then divide it by 2 and you get the middle number, the mean. Alright, let's try number 2. So what if we have this kind of question? Insert 4 arithmetic means between 5 and 25. Right, let's write 5 and 25. So 5. Then we insert 4 arithmetic means. So 3, 4 arithmetic means and then 25. So therefore... You need, to, you need to find these numbers in between 5 and 25. So the thing that we will do, class, is we need to get the common difference so that we can find these this numbers. So what would be the formula? Once again, the formula of arithmetic mean, that would be a sub n, equals the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So the thing that you will do, class, so that you can find these numbers is you need to get the common difference. So a sub n, this will be the last term. So a sub n, this will be 25, our last term. So 25 equals, first term is 5. 5 plus n is the number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6, six terms, or 6 for n, minus 1 times the common difference. We're looking for the common difference so that we can find these numbers. So this will be 25 equals 5, then, then subtract 6, plus, 6 minus 1, this will be 5, multiplied by D. Okay. Once again, you cannot add this number first, you need to multiply these numbers before adding 5. PEMDAS, always remember, multiplication comes first before addition. So this will be 25 equals 5 times D, that's 5D, 5 plus 5d. So you need to isolate 5d to get the value of 5, to get the value of d. So you need to transpose 5 from right to left. And don't do not forget that you will change the sign. So transpose 5 from right to left. And this will be this is positive, it will be negative. So 25 minus 5 equals 5d. Then subtract 25 minus 5, this will be 20 equals 5d. And then divide both sides by 5 so that you can get the value of D. And D is equals to, so 20 divided by 5, that's 4, equals D. This is the same class with D equals 4. That's the same. 4 equals D or D equals 4. So our common difference is 4. So therefore, to, to get this number, since our common difference is 4, we will be adding 4 to 5. So add 4 because the common difference is 4 plus 4. So the next number will be 9. Okay. Then plus 4 again. 9 plus 4. This will be 
13. And then, plus 4, because the common difference is 4. 13 plus 4, this will be 17. And then, plus 4. 17 plus 4, that is 21. So, 21 plus 4, you will get 25. If you subtract 9 minus 5, that's 4. 13 minus 9 is 4. So the common difference is 4. That, that is correct. So these are the numbers. We have 9, 13, 17, and 21. So that's how you answer arithmetic mean class. So you try to answer class number 3. Find the three terms between 2 and 34 of an arithmetic, arithmetic sequence. So you put your answer in the comment section down below so that we can check if you really understand this one. I also have the video class in finding the num missing numbers like this, example like this. So I will just put the link in the description down below on how to find these missing numbers. Alright, so once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day. I hope you learned something new today. If you have some questions, do not hesitate to ask. Okay, do not forget to like, subscribe, and share our video and to your classmates. Okay, have a great day. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.